22nd of September, Friday, and we've just got on a bus to go to the northernmost tip of Denmark, the place where the two seas meet, the North Sea and the Baltic. <laughs> I keep forgetting, I keep mixing up with the Bering Sea for some reason, which is thousands of miles away, so anyway. So yeah, so we're going, going on this bus trip, a sandworm, um, because Rosie twisted her ankle the other day so she can't walk the three kilometres to the tip. Uh, but we'll have a look around when we get there and uh, see what we see. Say hello girls. Hello girls. Hi. This is the tractor that's pulling the trailer that we're in. And this is the another version of the same thing that we're in. Sandomen stands for sandworm, or I think it's what they mean by... I think they mean ragworm. That's what we would call it. So looking into the sun that way are the girls and the Baltic. This is the sandworm that brought us. And on the front of this there's a, a collection of baby's dummies. I'm quite sure what that's all about. Maybe this is what they've found washed up on the beach. This side is the North Sea. So that way is I guess towards England. So here it is. This is the place where Denmark comes to a point at the northernmost tip. Not many countries come to an actual point like this. So that side is one ocean and this side is the other ocean. I might actually take my socks and shoes off and have a little paddle at the point where the ocean sort of so seas So Maisie and I have taken the plunge and taken our socks and shoes off. It's actually pretty cold. So here we are walking onto the tip of Denmark. You can see here the turbulent water where the two seas are coming, one from each side. How cool is that? The only other place I've ever been that was a bit like this was the tip of Africa where the Pacific and the Atlantic meet. Very cool. Crowd in there, Rose is in as well. And there, surprisingly, is Kirsty, braving the cold of these subarctic waters. So the feet of all four bickerings here at the tip of Denmark. Now show us your bruise, Rosie. Oh, Rosie's got the bruise. You can see that. Pretty healthy. Girls are gonna go back in the Sandman. And we're gonna, me and Kirsty are gonna walk. It's only back. about three kilometres, so it shouldn't take too long. And um, yeah, we just fancied a bit of a walk. And we would have walked in here and back, but we, 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 Rosie has hurt her foot. So she couldn't manage it, especially on this sand. Even though the tide's out a little bit, so we're on quite nice hard sand here. And it's the Sanderman on its way back. The, uh, just an interesting aside, this is called Sanderman after the uh, sandworms that live on the beach and leave the little um, sand casts, which I guess is something like ragworms or something like that. The, the derivation of this transport was that as just after the Second World War, these beaches were covered in pebbles and the locals were gathering pebbles to use as building materials. And um, they used to use these tractors and open very long open trailers which are basically the same as these but without the roof and the seats and the locals or visitors used to want to get to the tip of uh, Denmark and they'd get, get a lift and gradually there were so many people here getting a lift that they decided to offer it as a tourist attraction and so hence it's these great big tractors but you can just see how on these miles of sand that no other vehicle would really be able to tackle it. And this is looking back where we've come from and you can really see the tip of the country the end of this peninsula Windy, but nice and sunny. 